In the basic course of Manam I taught you that to calculate the methods get center and next to, Manam encloses the object in something called bounding box, but this is false. If you have already seen this video or have some knowledge of Bezier curves you will understand that the bounding box is calculated using derivatives, but Manum tries to optimize the process of getting the edges of a surface in another way, and to understand this we need to understand the points attribute of the VM objects. We are going to continue using the isolated files branch, in particular these two files, so download them and open them in your code editor of choice. In the first scene I'm showing you what the SBG file looks like, there's not much mystery. Something interesting about SVG is that Manum saves each figure, that is to say, each path in the attribute submobjects, this will be important for the next video. In the next scene, we start the same, but instead of using the full SVG, we are going to use the submobject. We are going to build a rectangle that has the width and height dimensions of this submobject, but we are also going to create a PM object that has all the control points. Finally, we are going to draw another rectangle, but containing all the control points of the SVG. First, we will show the control points and the rectangle that contains them, and then we will show the rectangle with the SVG dimensions. As we said before, the purple squares are the control points, the purple rectangle contains all the control points, the yellow dots are the ends of each Bezier curve, and the yellow rectangle, in theory, contains the Bezier curve. But as we can see this approximation is not perfect. We can notice that both rectangles are the same but centered in different points, I leave you as a task to check it by yourself. The reason why these rectangles are not centered is due to the following. Let's go to the next scene. Here we are drawing the points at the edges and corners of the curve. As you can see, a new rectangle has been formed, different from the previous ones. But, if we calculate its center, we will notice something interesting. The center of this rectangle is the same center of the yellow rectangle in the previous scene. This is the way Manum calculates the centers with the getCenter method. Remember that there is also the method getCenter of mass, but that is calculated in a different way. It is important to know this because this way we will get an idea of how these methods work, and we could even improve them taking advantage that Julia and Rust are more powerful languages to calculate the real bounding boxes, and not only approximations. Let's move on to the last scene of the file. We remember that all VM objects can have a thickness, a fill, and a background stroke. We can notice that the first thing that is pointed is the background stroke, then the fill is painted and at the end the normal stroke is painted. The reason for this is in the camera module, so we proceed to open it. We look for the display vectorized method, which is the one in charge of painting the VM objects. This is where the painting process is defined. The first thing is the creation of the context, that is to say, of the form that will have the figure. We have already studied this in the Cairo videos, so there is nothing that surprises us. Notice these two methods here. First we are obtaining all the subcurves that can have a VM object, because remember that a VM object can have multiple paths, as is the case of the text. Once these subpaths are obtained we obtain the cubic Bezier curves separated in tuples, so that they can be painted in Cairo. As an exercise, you can try to recreate this animation, if you have understood what I have explained so far it should be easy for you. 
Here is where we can identify the reason for the drawing order we discussed earlier. First we draw the background stroke, then the fill, and finally, the normal thickness. If you remove the fill, then it is obvious that Madame will not paint it. If you change the order of these methods, you will also change the order of painting. That's all there is to know about VM objects for now. In the next video, we will delve more about the groups and about the meaning of the points attribute in each M object that we have studied. As a special offer, I remind you that you can buy my two professional Manum courses for only $50, that is, the basic and intermediate course. The basic course costs $30 and the intermediate course costs $40, but if you buy the bundle, you can get both courses together for only $50. In case you have already purchased the basic course and want to buy the intermediate course, you can use the coupon you see on the screen to get $10 off only the intermediate course. These offers will be valid until June of this year.